Hi everyone! Now we can analyze the games that um, I played in the simul. Uh, this is the game that I lost against Hold Your Horse Tight. Um, I was white and I played d4, knight f6, knight f3, d5, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g6, castle, castle, b3. Um, in this kind of position, my d4 pawn um, is blocking my bishop development uh, because I don't have good squares for this bishop. For in theory, I can I can develop this in g5, but in this case, probably I would be forced to trade it for the knight. Um, other squares um, are not so good because, for example, if I'm developing on a4, if I would push on e3, uh, probably the bishop. Could be trapped so it could be a problem for me um, in this kind of position i have all the pawns in dark squares for example the pawn d4 the pawn g3 the pawn h2 f2 so i know this bishop can work so well can't work so well so um i i thought that a good idea for me could be uh, simply develop this bishop on b2 so uh, for this reason b3 uh, knight e4, it's, it's okay, mm, the knight is covering c3, d2, it can make problem, we should b2, and now c5, um, I like it too, now the black played very well, uh, it make pressure against d4, and probably it forced me to play more like c3, so I, I have to block my bishop, so yeah, nice idea. Knight d2, knight c6, another good move for black, hard pressure against d4, and now c3. I have to defend this one now, so I forced it to do that. Queen b6, <coughs> mm, another good idea because he had pressures, he had pressure against this one. Now I take it, d takes d4, knight d2. And in this position, which um, the game is uh, is balanced, uh, I made an important mistake uh, because the right idea should be ta uh, take on d4 first, and after that, for example, after knight takes d4, I can play knight c4, I attack the queen, and after queen c5, I can play free, and in this case, the knight has to go back. And uh, uh, I can retake the pawn after the trade. So in this position, uh, uh, the right uh, line for me is this: c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight c4, and after that, I can trade the bishops and I can retake the pawn, and the position is equal probably. Um, but I played f, but I played knight takes e4, and knight takes e4 is very very bad. After that, my position is bad because it's clear. If uh, d takes e3, I can retake with a knight, so it's not a problem for me. But clearly, the black now play f5. The black is attacking in the knight. I have to move the knight, and after that, d takes e3 is very very strong, and the black takes a winning position. So I play knight g5, d takes e3, I have to move the bishop, so bishop a3, and after h6, queen d5, knight d4 is strong because uh, he add an important piece for his attack, <coughs> rook e8, queen takes b7, check. Okay, in this position, after knight takes, rook takes, and rook d8, I resign because I I'm down an exchange now. But this pawn is very strong, so for me it's very hard to avoid. More like rook d2, c2, rook d1. Uh, the black now has an easy plan to win this game, so I can do anything.